Hello, everyone. Welcome to our class. Today, let's talk about sharing. So share is very, very important features in the thread. Why we need the thread? Because we want to share the data. So the sharing is really good, but that's something like an unintended sharing might happen and might cause a risk condition. And it's not a good features, good stories in your thread, uh, thread programming. Okay, so the we want to get the share, but we don't want any unintended sharing. So let's do some analysis of what's a sharing in your thread program. Before we talk about a sharing, actually let's take a review what's the global variable, what's a static variable, what's a local variable in your program. For global variable, As we know, the global variable is in the in your process is an uninitialized data. Initialized data is on like a special area, so it can be shared by using like a different thread. So different thread has their own stack. But let let share the heap, let share the global variable, let share the static variable, uh, because the global variable, static variable belong to the data, uninitialized data, or initialized data area in your process. So this one should be shared. Then static variable is a set. Static uh, local variable is a set. Because we use the data, this area, this segment in your process to store it. So it's also shared. So what do we like uh, not sharing? Like uh, what, which part we, do, we don't share? Which part for each thread has their own like a uh, uh, memory area to protect it? It's a local variable. So for the local variable, it's stored in the, on the stack. So this is on the stack. And we know every thread has an independent stack. So in this case, actually we can imagine that the local variable is kind of a, like a safe variable belong to the thread itself. But this is not the story, right? Because we have pointers. If we use a pointer to point to the reference, like an address of the local variable, then the local variable can become sharing. So, which means we need to double check it. Do we have any reference to a local variable in this thread? Hello, Joe. I have a question. Uh, can you give me a like a real example to explain this? Like what's this global variable? What's the local variable? And how to detect this global variable and sharing? Of course, so let's, uh, let's look at this example, okay? So this example actually is a very basic example. We have a main thread here. This main thread created two new threads by using P thread credit. And P thread credit created two new threads based on the loop. And each thread actually go into the details they what they actually do is just try to get the message and bring out the message and so on. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, so in this example, uh, the first things we can see is there's a global variable TTR. So, will PTR to be shared or not shared? It's a global. If it's a global, so it's shared. Uh, just basically, it's shared. So, uh, because the global variable, so both main thread. And P1, the first P thread, P thread, and P2, they share this PTR. So it's actually shared, okay? Uh, because it's global. Okay, global has a one instance in the memory, and all the uh, thread in the same process can, can find. Okay, the second one, it also has a one instance in the memory. Which one? It's actually the static variable here, CNT. The CNT is a static variable. The static variable also are stored in your memory and it's all, there's only one instance. So let's no duplicate memory for this one. So CNT is also shared. However, the static local variable can only be shared by the peer thread in this case because the main thread does not have any information about how to find this information. So the CNT is actually shared by P1 and P2. So this is a global variable and static variable. Uh, local variable. They are pretty easy, straightforward to detect whether there's a share or not share. Uh, how about another part? So if we look at the third part, uh, let's say uh, the local variable. 
there's a couple of different local variable. Let's look at the local variable here. Uh, first one, this is integer i. This i is local variable. It's from the main thread, so main can main thread can access it. But this local variable, basically, we do not pass this local variable to anywhere. Even though you see we have something like this, called void star i, blah, 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 blah. And this value will be tried to pass into your uh, thread. So just as like an argument. So it will try to pass the thread here. But this passing is actually a copy of the value. So you do not pass the address of i. You convert this value of i to a voider pointer this type and pass it into this argument. So the i, the value of i is passed, but the memory of i is not passed. So i is not shared by the peer thread. So i is actually locally to the main thread itself. So that's no sharing. So we have sharing here, we have sharing here, we do not have sharing here. Okay, so i is fine. i is totally fine. Okay, so let's look at other part. Okay, so another local variable, what we have is uh, actually TID here. This TID is used to store, uh, used to store the, the TID return uh, when you create the thread. So basically, we use this TID to store the thread ID of the credit thread, but we do not share it. So it's a local variable, it's a local variable uh, to the main thread itself. The TID is also a local variable. For a main thread, uh, is the you you do not actually use this value. You do not use the value uh, of this TID. You only give the peer thread only give the value to this TID TID for main thread. So basically, we can ignore this one if uh this is not really interesting to discuss here because it's basically just like a how you main thread to uh use a, a variable to store a the, the peer thread information. Okay. So now the next one is message. This message is local variable, MSG. Yes, it's local variable. It's also from a main thread. Okay, here's the thing. Do we pass this message to anywhere, like to the thread? Do we pass the address of this? We cannot see anything here, right? Uh, but you might notice that there's one line here. It's called PTR equal MSG. So, which means we make this pointer, we make this pointer point to this pointer. We make the double pointer point to this pointer. Basically, uh, actually we, we try, but this, this is what we try to do is we use PTR to point to the content what we have here. So even though the MSG is local, uh, it's a local variable for the main thread, However, you actually give the address, you give the address of this local variable to PTR, this global variable, and we know peer thread, both peer thread, P1, P2, they can access this PTR. So by using PTR, they can actually find the value, the memory address, the value of the pointer, which is the memory address in the memory to access the whole part of this. This is why we can use the PTR my ID to print out the message inside this array. Okay, so does this share or not share? Share. Okay, so basically the message, even the message is local variable, belong to the main thread. If you actually share the memory address of that local variable in any way, in this case, using global variable to store the address, then it will be shared. So this will be shared, okay? So now the, uh, we just cover every uh, local variable in the main thread. The next part is about a peer thread. Your peer thread has a one local variable, my ID. This my ID gets the value from the argument. So this argument basically is just I. We copy the value of I, we pass to here, and we move this like a value of I into my ID. So my ID is actually a local variable. Okay, my ID is local variable. And we do not share the address of this local variable. So the my ID actually can be assessed by P1, but also assessed by P2. But this my ID should be different in this case. So my ID actually has two different my ID. One is uh, from P1, 
from P1 by D from P2. So for P1, it's only assessed by P1. For P2, it's only assessed by P2. So let's two my ID for each peer. So there's no sharing here. So, okay. So which part is shared here? Uh, if you look at the information, the global variable PDR is shared. The static global variable is shared. There's one local variable is shared this message because you use global variable to store the address of this local variable. And which part is not sharing? Basically, just the local variable i for the main thread and local variable my id for ps one ps two and so on. Okay, so this is an example to tell you how to identify the different uh, uh different variable whether they actually shared or not shared. You cannot just like say, oh, it's a global variable, it's shared. It's local variable, it's not shared. No, you also need to check like whether the address of local variable is actually be safe uh, in somewhere so other thread can access to it. Okay, so this is the point. Okay, so this is for today's video. Today's video, I just show a brief introduction how to analyze, analyze, like analyze your code. You need to check the local variable, global variable, static variable before you review your code. But after you check it, you need to also check the code itself to make sure the pointers in some thread does not point to the local variable in other thread. If less pointers in a thread uh, from the peer thread to the main thread, then the local variable in the main thread is also shared by, by all, all, the thread, all other threads, okay? So you need to check the pointers. Pointer is kind of a key of this analysis. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's video and we will talk about a little bit more about how to uh, like check the sharing, unintended sharing, or how to protect it in other videos, okay? So um, see you next time. This analysis is really cool.